Hello, and uh, thank you for listening. As always, I am Juan, here with Mark and Kevin, and we like movies. Uh, We've been away for some time as life caught up with us, and we had to dedicate our time to some other priorities, but we're making our way back. So we wanted to tie a bow on what we've done so far, and we are concluding season one with an end-of-year review episode. Then season two will kick off in early 2023. But uh, this is a great opportunity to look back at some of the movies that we've reviewed, uh, some great episodes, um, something for um, maybe anyone who's who's never listened to the podcast before and is listening for the first time. This episode, it might give them something to, to go back uh, and listen to there. But uh, how are you fellas doing? Got any words uh, here at the start? I missed you, boys. <laughs> Bro, Kevin takes so. I'm giving him full, full reign to start uh, talking, and he's uh, dead. I was waiting for you because you like to talk. So I was like, "All right, let me wait for Mark to finish." Uh, I was like, yeah, "All right, well, I'll just go in." If I like to talk, then I would have jumped in. I didn't jump in. Uh, I know. So yeah, I was like, "Okay, I guess okay. that's me." So you take too long to respond. Well, listen, I missed you, and I missed missed all of that, all of that that you give me. I miss it. All right. Well, I, I have some uh, words of wisdom. Um, you don't have to spend money to save money. Oh, you don't have to spend money to, to save, save money. Money, yeah. There's people who live their life that like to spend money because they get to save a little money. But if you save all of it, then you come out the the winner. I, I just I don't understand the concept. Anyways, is there is there a specific person in mind that you <laughs> that you'd like to be receiving this message as you as you say it? Yeah, the Christmas shoppers, all the consumers. <laughs> yeah, like I'm you're talking about, it. like when it's like a sale, and it says if you if you know you you save this much, but if you don't spend it, you could just keep all that money. Right, like. If you spend fifty dollars, we'll give you ten dollars off your yeah. order. Yeah. It's like, but you're you're like you came here to buy a bag of chips and you're like, oh, but it's you, a deal. I could, I could save ten dollars. It's like, yeah. yeah, but buy a bag of chips. So now yeah. you're forcing yourself to buy fifty dollars worth of stuff just yeah. so you can save ten dollars. So you can get that deal. Yes. You listening, Kevin? I've I've heard I've heard those words before. <laughs> All of them. Well, that's good advice. Hey, thanks. That's good advice. I feel like it fits in with the uh, time of the year. Mm-hmm. And the episode. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it is It is that time of year. I like this time of year. It is the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> so they sing. So um, I... No, so they sing. Who's that... Uh. Dean Martin? Uh, done so many times, no? That's true. Pick one. That's true. All right. So let's let's kick off uh, this year-end review. I provided you guys with some questions. Um, I think some of you might be winging it. Uh, hopefully, you've given it some thought. But... Um, uh, and but yeah, let's let's jump right into the first question here. I might have worded this a little bit different for our audience, but but the premise is the same. So first question, um, Mark, this is going to go to you first. Kevin will have to wait. Um, which movie that we reviewed would you uh, be most likely to recommend? So, in other words, in your opinion, perhaps the best movie out of the 35 that we reviewed. Wow, 35. That's a lot. 
Uh, I think I think it's thirty five, right, Kevin? Uh, I believe so. I believe we're right off thirty five. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty good number. Um. So we're we're just talking about the ones that that we've reviewed, now ones that I've seen. Um, I would have to say, uh, it's kind of be a cop out, you know, because it's it's such a uh, well re- widely received movie. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Mm. Yeah, that movie was just fantastic. Have you um, watched it many more times since we reviewed it? Uh, no, because I had to watch it. Well, no, I pay. I actually paid for it, um, and it's still not free to watch anywhere else. Um, pirating is just such a pain with all the ads. Um, so no, I haven't. Only because it's just like readily available for me to watch it. But if it was, yes, I I, I would have watched it again. I hear it's expected to do fairly well come award season. I mean, yeah. Uh, there's always those. I think what's this Babylon that's coming out? Apparently, yeah. that's coming out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, it's probably gonna like win everything, right? Yeah. That's usually how it goes with those movies. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I don't really care about awards. Um, I just like that, you know, such a crazy out there movie was actually made. Mark, if you ever want to see it, I did buy it. I can shoot you over the coat. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, no, I definitely do. I I definitely would. So when you think about the movie, what what do you, since you haven't been able to watch it, but I'm sure you've thought about it, what, uh, what kind of stuck with you? Um, I just liked how, how out of, like out of the box it was, um, Mm -hmm. and just the, I mean, the hot dog fingers, dude, like I, you can, I could stop right now. I think of like four other crazy things that were happening in the movie. And I just, I know that with what I saw, there's still so much that I missed. Yeah. Yeah, I liked, uh, I, f- I forget his name, but uh, uh, the guy's comeback. Yeah. Short round. Short round. I was going to say too short, but that was a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> we would have got you, though. Short round. Yeah, I liked his performance and his comeback. So. Oh, man, it's so good. And uh, just to see him playing like that smooth, swab, dead in there guy, and then turning around. <laughs> The uh, actual timeline guy. It's mm-hmm. pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Good choice. I'll jump in here. Make Kevin wait some more. Um, I uh, <sighs> wait. There were there were some definitely some good some good ones to choose from. Um, I had to think about this question a little bit, but uh, ultimately. My selection is um, a movie that we all agreed was a three across the board, and that was. Ooh, uh, I think I know what it is. Another round. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Nice. So yeah, I, like I said, I I gave this some thought, you know, of, um, but uh, I guess ultimately it just came down to, um, what I maybe felt like was something that i would like to recommend because not only is it a good movie i believe it has a great message just about you know um how we live our lives day to day you know making the most of the time we have being present uh with the people in our lives um finding you know a uh, finding a way to maintain our youth even as we age and and uh, some other really good, really good topics, uh, and even even more so when you think about you know some of the real life, even painful things that that were happening um, outside of the movie, you know, with the director and 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 what I, I won't I'll let people um, do their research as to what was going on. Heavy stuff going, going on, on in it, and it seemed like it found its way, you know, into the story, into the performances, you know, onto the screen, and and uh, overall, a uh, a movie that I think has a 
is 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 at the end of it you know a feel good movie um well so yeah I, well i appreciate you pick, picking this movie because i was honestly between this one and everything everywhere all at once and i was a coward because the reason i didn't pick it is because oh i i wouldn't recommend a movie that was in subtitles <laughs> <laughs> I draw the line at subtitles. <laughs> so, like, it, it's not one that I would be like, hey, you know, you should watch this because I know people don't like to read. Like, I mm-hmm. I have subtitles on all the time with everything, you know, but a lot of people scoff at that. So thank you for, for being the bigger man. I, I, will, I was too, too much of a coward. You know, there are people in other countries that, <laughs> Every movie they watch is in subtitles if they're watching American movies. <laughs> they're, they're in English subtitles. Yeah. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, everything, everywhere all at once had some subtitles in it. Yeah, yeah, it did. Those rocks. Mm hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but man, I, I think I'd almost forgotten about, uh, about that movie, though. You forgot the name already? No, no, I was just like another round. I'm like, I was like, man, I was just thinking about. It. I was like, man, it was so it was a really good movie. And now it was, it didn't make my list, but I was like, what a good movie it was. I, I need to, I, I need to rewatch it because I didn't recommend especially it that ending. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dang. that ending, final, final shot. Yeah. Damn, Great I selection, Juan. I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, I and I will say that a. a um, a uh, what do you call it? A um, kind of like a an, a an a, another well another one that I thought of you know as a as a not not quite a runner a memorable mention honorable mm-hmm. honorable, honor, honorable. honorable as an honorable mention is the Gray Man mm. um, just because I felt like I really enjoyed that action movie and I think it a lot of people probably overlooked it or didn't give it a chance i think more people would enjoy it if they gave it a chance so that was my honorable mention for this question yeah you just ran the spectrum for me i was like man what a great pick to really yeah i know <laughs> that's all right all right kevin my, blow us still on you. <laughs> uh, i was like well now <laughs> y'all pick such a deep and heavy movies i was like oh great this my, my I, is... I think i know yours you don't, you don't, because I will tell you this, because uh, there's only three movies that I found myself constantly <laughs> suggesting to people. Um, mm-hmm. One of them was Fresh. Really? Uh, one of them was RRR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the one that I kept recommending to people that I would recommend to people just because it's more of a fun movie um, was Mindhorn. Really? And, yeah. And, and, yeah. That's what I told you. You know, like it, it was Basically, between those three, because I kept recommending uh, recommending people, but Mindhorn was just like, hey, man, you." when people were asking me and they didn't know what they wanted to watch, I'm like, try this one out. You know what I mean? I'm like, and, and people came back and they were loving it. Really? No, they stopped yeah. talking to you after you. Like, what the hell this guy pick, man? <laughs> or, or they're lying to you. I mean, I, I'm just saying I liked it, but it doesn't seem like a movie that a lot of people would like. I know, but that's why people were just like, it was different, whatever. Like I recommended like Fresh a little bit, uh, RRR to some people, and they lo- they love them all. But like Minehorn was the one that I found myself more just like, hey, if you don't want to try the Indian movie, try this one, and they they liked it. So I was like, man, that's, that's the one I when I looked through the list of uh, movies, I'm like, that's the one I was like, yeah, uh, if, I, if I had to recommend a movie, it'd be Minehorn. So Kevin did, always coming out of left field. Did they provide any feedback? Like they they just uh, thought it was funny, or they like? Don't ever talk to me and my son again. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't look him in the eyes, boys. I'm like, what? But no, they just they, they they'd come back and we would just start talking about different scenes, and they were like, "Hey, remember when this guy when the guy was like all wrapped up?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm like that's funny." And then then they would remind me of scenes I forgot. So. But like it's been, yeah, it's been over the past few months when I suggest, especially at the new job when I suggest it to people. Oh, yeah. smart! Like, okay. So they're keeping you from watching it again. Nice, genius, man. Well, I watched it with Ava. Like I watched it with my girls. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm. Kidding. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed it. It was. I, I know you both did. Um, <laughs> I, the I I I was definitely. 
R R R. It's it's uh ultimately I couldn't do it because of the runtime. And uh that's a lot for most people to sit through for a Tollywood movie. Um to their you know, to to their demise. But uh <laughs> I think maybe that's what edged Minehorn over RRR because RRR would have been it. Yeah. But then that's what I think Minehorn got the the nod over. I'm like, hey, just catch this movie. Yeah. My guy, it was that three hour runtime. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Kevin, we're gonna we're gonna stick with you as we Yay! roll on, as we roll on to question number two, which goes in the opposite direction. Uh, so, which movie? of the 35 that we reviewed in season one, would you be least inclined to recommend? Oh, come on. And I was going to go with, man. Oh, I was going to go with, with the uh, zeros and ones, but, <laughs> Pours. Wait, but when I reviewed all of them, like, I, I don't even mind. Like when I recommend it, I just forget it exists, but um, I wouldn't recommend licorice pizza. That's the one I wanted. Hmm. Because even though I like Bradley Cooper, like we talked Bradley Cooper and his performances, just when I was going through all of them, I was like, yeah, that's the one I just, I wouldn't want anyone to watch that movie. Mm. It was creepy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fair enough. So Fair that enough. was that was my pick for the ones I would not recommend. Mm. All right. Yeah. Juan, are you going to say it or do I have to say it? <laughs> I, I, I'm i going to leave mine as a surprise. So why don't you go next? All right. Well, I'll take the low-hanging fruit. Zeros and ones, which actually happened to be my pick, um, was probably the worst movie I've ever seen um, <laughs> because there was, there was no enjoyment. I got nothing out of it, and I hated myself for watching it, and I hated it even more for wasting your time as well and and there's nothing more that i hate than waste time so like that movie it was literally a journal collection of dreams <laughs> made into a movie <laughs> nothing nothing went with anything you literally had to question every scene like is this what i'm supposed to think of what's happening next and yeah. dude it was just it was terrible and then I think what kind of just made it made it better for me to sleep at night was watching Ethan Hawke's reaction to watching the movie <laughs> with us for the first time and him realizing that he made the worst movie ever made. <laughs> and he was just befuddled. That that was kind of just like a, you know, that was like okay. Wait, did you go back to watch that? Because unless I'm misremembering, I don't think you watched that the first time, didn't you? No, I right. I stopped it. So I went back after you told me it was there. And yeah. and and watching through the credits and that happening, just that I died laughing. I was yeah. on the floor because really he was just he was j- jarred by everything that he just seen. <laughs> And, was, and the best that part, a, he's trying to set. He's trying to sell it, right? So is that on YouTube? Yeah, that just that part of him at the end. Uh, my guy, I believe it's the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> the whole movie's on YouTube. I, I, believe, I believe so. Uh, I, I believe so. Uh, doesn't uh, he like? Doesn't he end that bit by saying like, "By the way, this is part of the movie too." Right, he tries yeah. to spin it off like you know, <laughs> my God, they just watched me like collapse <laughs> on screen. I need to <laughs> save face. Are we in a simulation? Anyway, so yeah, this this that was for me the worst movie ever created. But still, not to um, not to discourage anyone from listening to that episode because to me, I I think it's my favorite episode that we've done All right. it just so gold. gave us so much laughter from kevin's recap to um yeah catching things that we missed because the whole thing was just confusing but it was uh it was it was a great episode um and and yet still that was not my pick because as i thought about it obviously oh. that was the obvious choice right um but I, I, you know, I, I didn't want to do any other terrible movie a disservice. So I looked through the list 
and I and I so and I thought and so as I thought about that I said you know what even zeros and ones I think ha- might have some redeemable qualities um like um uh even just the craziness just the just the fact that a director would have the balls to uh to do something like that um and get such a huge star um and then to release that um but I think I'd have once picked <laughs> but <laughs> But to me, My there was a story. There was no. a movie that was even worse. That the one I, he forgot to hit subtitles on. That's the one. No, no. The there's one movie that I would not recommend to anyone ever, <gasps> and it's uh, the Sea Beast. Sea Beast. Yes, I was. Oh, sea Beast. I just thought about that one. Yeah, that one for, was pretty bad. For those who don't uh, know, it's a terrible animated film uh, on Netflix. Um. Uh, we we criticize everything from the animation choices to just uh, bad bad storytelling and bad writing, and uh, it was just a waste of time. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> you know, I gotta admit, it was a bold choice to go with a badly drawn child's dinosaur <laughs> as the main character. Yeah, like you have this beast that they're fighting at the beginning. You're like, okay, this movie's about to be some like uh, Pacific Rim stuff, but no, no, yeah, no. it did start off good though. It yeah. did. Right, well, <sighs> didn't didn't your girls love it? You 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 and your girls, oh, the girls right? Lo- no, the girls loved it. Yeah, I liked it, but I can understand why y'all did it. Yeah, yeah, but like I said, All it right. wasn't. Yeah. You know that that was very that was a very forgettable movie. So thanks yeah. for bringing that back to me. I, I swore you. I thought you were gonna pick a Sukiyaki Western Django. No, no. no I mean, was... at least that one's visually. You know, there's something there. You really can't no, but, pick that as yeah. the worst movie. No, I, I couldn't was, understand anything. That's why. I, well, I was, I was uh, thinking about that movie because um, I was been I've been really into Quentin Tar- like listening and reading everything that I come across um, from Quentin Tarantino. And uh, I was thinking about that movie and the, and the three different accents, accents that he did <laughs> for the, for the one character. Just so, so puzzling. That make sense. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. So, all right. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the way this is going. It's very, very, like Kevin said, the the responses are all across the spectrum. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So on to question number three, um, and I'll go ahead and answer this one first. All right. The, the question is now uh, moving outside of movies that we've reviewed. The question is, what was your favorite film released in 2022? Now, for me, I didn't get out and watch um, as many films uh, as I probably should have or could have that were released in 2022. Um, There were some good ones. Um, I didn't write them down, so I don't remember what they were. (laughs) But I do remember some that were like, oh, I watched that. Yeah, that was pretty good and whatnot. Um, But, you know, including RRR and, and whatnot the best ones but But ultimately the question is what was your favorite and while this may be a controversial choice or one that not everyone (laughs) agrees with um the movie that i enjoyed the most was the batman uh directed Mm -hmm. by matt reeves and uh starring uh what's that guy's name robert uh Pattinson. Robert Pattinson, yeah, who's uh, an actor that I've just enjoyed a lot of his work mm-hmm. uh, recently, and I thought, um, it, and it was, I, I went into it, you know, really not not thinking that it was going to be good at all, especially mm-hmm. feeling like, you know, how do you top Chris Nolan? Although, you know, I hate it, The Dark Knight Rises, um, or I hate it now, but <laughs> um, but I was it was very enjoyable while while it's not a perfect movie um i thought it was really cool i thought pattinson's interpretation of the batman was really even though it was very dark and moody um i enjoyed it 
Um, I thought the Riddler could have been a lot better. Um, of course, I'm not. I'm not about to do a whole review, but just anyway, just trying to. Uh, I enjoyed it, and and uh, I was, it, it, I was excited about it. It was a very, for me, a very enjoyable movie going experience. Hmm. I mean, that's not really. <clears throat> excuse me. That uh, that's not hard off actually. I think I've seen that movie probably the most this year mm-hmm. uh, since it's been on HBO. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one I put on in the background. Mm-hmm. And when I hear that, something, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, something's about to go down. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah, like that's, yeah, that's, that's a good one. It's the first yeah. one that's given us a theme song like that for Batman. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, no, the, the Michael Keaton one had one. Really? Yeah. Like, if you hear it, you'd be like, oh, yeah. Like, I suck at music, so I'm not going to sing it. It's, but if you heard it, you'd be like, oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's the Batman song. Like the first one? Yeah. It's been a very long time since I've seen those movies. Yeah, it played throughout the movie like that? Yeah, it's Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What you hear, you'd be like, oh, I know that one. That was a good rendition. Oh, thank you. I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of getting Spider-Man vibes. I don't know why. Well, mm-hmm. uh, speaking of which, question. By the way, uh, uh. for this question, what if we what if we saw it in theaters, but it came out at the end of last year? Does that count or no? No. Why? Are you but I saw it in theaters in January. <laughs> no? okay. In January? Or yeah, I saw December? it in January. It's not the beginning of January, okay. but it came it's out. Movie, it's what? movies. No, it's movies you saw this year. Released okay. in 2022. See, that's what I said. Released because it came oh, out okay. December 17th, but I didn't see it till like the first week of January. So never mind. Does that go ruin ahead, everything Mark. for you though? Oh, yeah, boy. I have to. I have to recalibrate. <laughs> go ahead, Mark. <laughs> Stay with it, then. Go, 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 because I don't want you to lose. That you work so hard on it. Look, it's like my favorite I'll, movie, I'll but it. when I looked at it when it released was uh, Spider-Man: No Way Home. Uh huh. Because um, I went, it was fun. They were like seeing the the old Spidey, seeing everything just wrap up. Like that was my my most enjoyable favorite movie this year. Mm, man, I still haven't seen that. Oh really? <laughs> right. I still haven't seen the Batman. So. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Very interesting. Um, yeah. Well, you should check it out. It's a fun movie. You would like it. Go it ahead, is Mark. It is. Um, so my my pick is is the Batman as well. Um, because of the reason I've said it, I've seen it more than like seven times now. Um, I'm dude. Everything about that movie was just wonderful. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't even know where to go. Like, I don't even know where to start. Like the music and the you know his his. Even his Batman voice I thought was perfect too, man. It wasn't like over the top. Um, you know, when he was Bruce Wayne, he looked different. He felt different. Um, yeah, man, the story with Falcone and just, uh, it, yeah, it was, it was great. I, um, I don't know where I saw it first, but I was really upset that I saw it. Cause I want, I wanted to do this one with you guys. Um, but yeah, no, it was it's it, yeah, fantastic, and I can't wait for the second one. I I think mm-hmm. I thought Riddler was great, so I I would love for you to go into your uh your character dissolution here. Um, I just uh, it wasn't. I think I just wanted more out of it. You know, I think I liked things about him, like the you know, like just his whole thing with the clues and how it actually gave us the opportunity to see Bruce Wayne as a de- or Batman as a de- detective, mm-hmm. um, you know, and see like some of his intelligence. But um, I, I guess maybe, I, I don't know. It, it like, I think it went right up to the line of like being dark and then just tiptoed around it. I would have liked them to have gone, you know, full, like crazy and dark and really psych- psycho psychopathic. Um, 
like the him being like on social media and then like trying to start this movement like that's where i think i it lost me so here's the thing with these movies you know there's always going to be sequels right i thought they gave us just a little slice of that pie and the fact that they just showed him prison like even batman have having the interaction with him like that right there is is i mean that shows us that this guy's still going to be around so i feel like this was his birth and he saw that it didn't work out because of this whole social media thing and so he's got to take it a different route i think that this is kind of character building you know how we get character building with only the, the good guys i think this is character building with the uh the bad guys here yeah, it's possible. We'll see. I don't see him going away. I see him coming back. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm pumped for the sequel too. Um, and I will say though, again, another honorable mention for me with this question is Encanto. <laughs> hey, that, that came out way last year. No, that was 2022, man. Uh, that I I watched it for uh Phoenix's birthday last year. Oh, you know what? I I think I watched it. Maybe it was at the end of last year. Maybe it was at the end of last year. He was just an honorable mention. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luckily, um, but no. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to. What I'm trying to. Rem- I did. I did. You know, Google this and look through it and was trying to remember. Maybe I just oh, can't so remember what... them now. The, some of the other. That was your pick, and then you Google it, saw that it was 2021, and you're like, oh, damn, honorable mention, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, well, Encanto slaps, bro. That, yo, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll sometimes put it on just for me. <laughs> no lie. Well, and I think that's the, I think that's why I, I thought it came out in 2022, because it's been playing, I mean, at least the music um, yeah. has been playing in my house house all year long. Yeah, I know it came out on Disney Plus like right before Christmas. Mm. So yeah, that's yeah, that's time. what it was. Cause yeah, I did watch it in Kevin, theaters though. But yeah, Kevin, you have an honorable mention. Uh, my honorable mention would be RRR uh-huh. for being such a great movie. Check out that. Check people. <laughs> I have to listen to that one again. Uh, <laughs> my other one was going to be uh, Top Gun. Um, mm. I haven't seen but I just remember like that movie had me – that was like the fastest however long it was. It felt like that was a 30-minute movie, man. Just the adrenaline was going. Everything was pumping. Uh, it's been a very, very, very long time since I've sat up in my seat in a movie, you know. Um, so – yeah, that was I was going between that and the Batman, but again, because I actively seek out to watch the Batman, that's that's why that's my choice. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Um, that edges it out for me too. Top Gun, I haven't watched it again, but yeah. I I do want I do want to watch it again. Oh yeah, for, oh bro, when you come down, let's do it. Mhm, mhm. I'm down. Um, all right. Moving on to question number four. Only only two questions remain, unless uh, unless you guys want to improvise. But uh, the next question is, we're going to go to Mark first here. Mark, what movie to be released in 2023 are you most excited for? And I think I know what you're going to say. Go for but it. But surprise me. No, go for it. Uh, well, it actually could be two, and I think it's the same two as mine, but I'm going to say Oppenheimer. No. Mm, Dune 2. No. Oh, okay. We know Juan's picks now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> what about Kevin? You want to play? <laughs> nope. Uh, no, I'm going to. Uh... I'm going. I'm going basic, baby. I'm. I'm pumped for Quantum Mania. Mm. I want to see that. I think Kang and and, and uh, Irons, bro. I'm so ready for him, and I hope. I hope he. I hope he lasts, and I hope he 
kills many people or ends careers, whatever you want to call it nowadays in the MCU. But yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm ready to I'm ready for that. So see, I'm 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 over I'm over Marvel, man. I I am too. I am too. I haven't even seen Black Panther, but I just I want to see what what they do with this because Kang is such an interesting to- story uh, line. Um, so, so he was in Loki though, huh? He appeared in Loki. Yeah, yeah at the end, well, a version of him appeared. And dude, and, and and just him, that character, bro. It was chilling, man. Like it, 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 it was like, oof, this is gonna be good, you know. Maybe because it wasn't a CGI character, no knock on Thanos, but um, I don't know. Performance for someone, yeah, man, it felt uh, it felt real. If you haven't seen that episode, just watch. I mean, if you haven't seen that series, just watch that episode. I mean, you don't really need anything before that. Just watching that, uh, that, 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 yeah, yeah. One thing about that character is that he's played by this guy named Jonathan Majors, who, uh, dude, all of a sudden, this guy, oh, he's Majors, like the next big Iron's thing. like an idiot. That's what I meant, Majors. <laughs> that's it, Iron. Jonathan Majors. Um, but, like, I'm, I, I'm trying to trace where this guy came from because now, I mean, I, the first time I saw him that I realized who he was – was in the trailer for Creed Three, where he looks insane, like so freaking yeah. ripped. Yeah. So then I then I saw, yeah, he's playing Kang, and then he's um he was in that west you know western uh, that was like all black people um, that came mm-hmm. out on Netflix. I think it was Posse? called Shoot. No, it was called like Shoot 'Em Up or something like that. Um, but then I saw he he was in. Uh, he's in another movie, but yeah, man, that guy's like blowing up. Yeah. Oh, he's the. Oh, yeah. He's like on the. His face is like on right on the cover of yeah. that poster. Oh, okay, okay. So is that where he got, like got got uh, noticed? I guess. I don't know. That's where I first saw in, him. He was probably another yeah. thing. He's also. He just came out. He was just in a like a World War Two movie where he played a fighter pilot. No, so that was he another was in one. The five Bloods. The, five five. Bloods, the, the trial of the Chicago Seven. Oh. No, the so Five got, Bloods like, is the uh, the Spike Lee movie, the war movie he made. Oh, the yeah, Five the Bloods. I did not. Yeah. Never heard of it. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's this joint. Mm. Anyway, good for him, but uh, yeah, okay, yeah. When so I said Quan- irons, Quan- I meant majors. Yeah, so oh, that's Ant Man, right? Ant Man, yeah, and yeah. the Mania. Okay. And the Wasp and the Quantum Mania. Right, so, Kevin, I'll just jump right in because I know because you already gave away your picks. Yeah, um, <laughs> and He's I will just too. so I will just say, you know, the reason these two are my picks, um, Dune 2, because the first one was amazing. Uh, Denis Villeneuve is my favorite current, currently, he's like my favorite director. Um, Quentin, Quentin Tarantino will always be, you know, my favorite, but right now anything that that this guy does like i'm there and so dune was awesome dune 2 i can't wait and i was never even a fan of the original dune i've never even seen it or read the books but i'm a fan of a good sci-fi movie which this one was so i'm pumped for that but uh oppenheimer also i mean i know mark feels the same way too anything that chris nolan does we're pretty much there yeah um and so the but but i've just i mean to to think that this guy somehow actually set off an atomic bomb uh for this movie is just crazy you read, you read that too he said he's yeah. gonna use this feature i'm like bro you crazy <laughs> <laughs> is he crazy yeah. okay 
<laughs> so I mean that alone, but also I mean um, it's a it's you know a follow up to his last movie, which was um, uh, well actually Tenet. no, Tenet was the last one, but before that, what was this? The World War uh, um, Dunkirk? No, Dunkirk. Yeah, Dunkirk. Yeah, because I kind of have a feeling this is gonna be more like Dunkirk ish as far as like the storytelling. Um, uh, at least that's what I think. So that is exciting because that's probably his most critically acclaimed movie. Um, so I'm very pumped for Oppenheimer. Is- yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, critically acclaimed. Like, I mean, even Quentin Tarantino said that like Dunkirk was a masterpiece, um, and really? a lot of people I sh- like have said I still that. Yeah, yet to finish that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I get so bored. I don't know. I keep watching the yeah. same scene where the the little the little fishing boats like we got now we gotta go get them like, okay but there's but, but there's planes we gotta get them all right and that's that's the end I I always yeah. stop there yeah all right now it's it's good man it's it's a lot of tension um but yeah plus it's also it's another you know I guess biopic or or. Uh, type of thing real life event so yeah man the fact that both of those are coming out and and i don't know i actually have a a sneaky feeling that dune 2 might get pushed back to 2024 we'll see i hope Mm -hmm. that doesn't happen but uh, oppenheimer for sure in 2023 um what did not make my cut we actually it comes out this year but is avatar way of the water which oh yeah no I don't think any of us are lining up to watch that. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I am so lined up. My kid, my kids have it circled on the calendar. I'm already there. What? I don't. I don't know why, but I just I don't really have any interest in watching this. But then again, I don't think I had any interest watching the first one when it came out. I kept hearing the director of the Titanic. And I'm like, ah, I don't, I'm good. I don't want to watch that. Like, it sounds like Titanic base, you know? Um, I book my tickets to Pandora, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what, uh, I don't know nah. what maybe go see it, but you know, it was a good movie. It was Ferngully, you know? 20- yeah, I, exactly. I'm, I'm going to see a director who's going to be on the cutting edge of technology, pushing it forward. Let's I go. really, I really don't think he's pushing anything forward this well, time he around. He did well, in the first one, and I was excited for the first one. But that movie has aged horribly. I mean, really? when when it's even on TV, bro, I won't, I won't hardly give it two minutes. It's terrible. Um, and so I don't have any hopes for this one. I'm sure it'll be visually appealing. I, I don't think he's pushing the envelope at all if I go go to marvel movies for that i'm i, I think you're gonna be disappointed oh, I don't know. we'll see james cameron we'll said Thanos has nothing on his fx <laughs> that's what he said he called him out we're gonna watch some something have weird sex with something else it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm hyped. My girls are hyped. We are going like next weekend, actually. Oh wow! Nice. Wow, you're like opening weekend, huh? We're going open because Ava wanted to go for her birthday. That's what she wants. She's like, "Can we go?" I was like, "Sure." To get ready to have an Avatar themed birthday party. That's next year. She's gonna yeah. get painted blue. Hope Ava Avatar. Avatar three for her to see. Oh, they 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 already finished filming three. Uh, well, Flash you know, four and five. You know, I know, uh, but you see, you know how it goes. Yeah. <clears throat> well, anyway, right. since that is coming out in 2022, why don't you tell us what you're looking forward to in 2023? Right. I'm gonna give you two oh, honorable yeah. mentions, and then my number one. Goodness gracious! Uh, Juan mentioned it. I'm looking forward to Creed three. I'm a fan of the first Creed. Like with the the, Creed, okay? with no Sylvester Stallone. With no Sylvester. No slice alone, and directed by um, what's his name, Michael B. Jordan. Ryan Coogler? No, oh. Ryan B. Jo- Michael B. Jordan directed. So oh. I'm interested. No, no thanks. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you sound number, like, my, talk like this all the time. 
my my other honorable mention is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. Mm, really? Yeah, I'm really I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, James Gunn uh, doesn't usually disappoint. So, but my That's number wrong. one, yeah, for Marvel, my number one most anticipated movie, um, it will be John Wick four. That oh, I'm wow. going to take my babies to go see in theaters. <laughs> My baby, go see it. a nice, a nice wholesome family movie. Oh, nice family flick for my uh, five-year-old to watch. But yeah, but I'm very excited about that. Do, pe- do people look at you, give you dirty looks when they see you walking <laughs> into that theater with a five-year-old? Sky, get like, up. It, Sky it, if I if if I paid attention to people who gave me dirty looks, then maybe. But I just, I don't really care. So. Mm. I'm no, busy chasing I'm... kids and uh, grabbing popcorn. So, what makes you excited for John Wick Four? You t- 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 confession time. I've never seen one of them. Oh, well, first, like I said, I've seen one, two, and three. Um, they're really like to me. They're really good, fun movies. Um, I watch them with the girls also, and they've enjoyed them, and they're looking really uh, forward to it. Like, like I said, it's not a deep story. It's just about a man who. Uh, who got oh, mad that they God. took away his opportunity to grieve. Mm. And he opened up a can of whoop ass on everybody. And then all these mm. dominoes started falling like all over the place. So do they Mark, like you've seen them, have you? I I saw the first one. Yeah. I think I saw the second one, but I don't remember. Um like, they all take place like one week after another. Yeah. So it's yeah, all yeah. in a very short span of time. Right. Oh, really? Do uh, your girls do the uh, the kung fu moves on each other with the guns? They try to. <laughs> Very Let me interesting. See it. Yeah, and it's well, funny because I... I like when they see gun movies, they really get into them. Because so we saw Young Guns, and they just kept pointing their fingers at everyone and say, "You who make you famous?" Bam. <laughs> so, yeah. Dang, I am a, Ke- a Keanu fan. You should check them out. They're they're actually really fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I I haven't gone out of my out of my way to avoid them. Um, I wasn't running to go see them either, just because I need I need story, you know, for for that type of action. Um, there's there's enough know. story. You'll like it. Trust me. It's on my voodoo if you ever want to watch it. Okay. All right. Well, again, um, all across the spectrum with those uh, um, anticipated movies in 2023. Hopefully, there'll be some surprises. Hopefully, there's movies that we uh, did not um, consider that will blow us away, like RRR. Yeah. Um, sure. But but now we arrive at the finale, and it is a question um, in light of the season. I know um, Mark is a big fan uh, of the season, especially of Christmas music. Um, so, but we're going to look at Christmas movies just to just to close out the discussion here. And the question is, what is your goat of Christmas movies? Uh, and we'll go ahead and let Kevin start us off with oh, this one. Man. Um, I thought long and hard about this. Um. <laughs> Die Hard is considered a Christmas movie, but I did not pick it. Um, Home Alone did not pick. My goat is um, Elf. Mm. Like Christmas Sounds season good. does not start in our it does not start in our house until we watch Elf, yeah. and then we start watching all these other Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great it, choice. It's still funny to this day. Yeah, great choice. It's one of my top ones, but the reason I didn't pick it. Um, and tell me your thoughts on this, but that 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 movie for me, when I watch it, it's just it it's the the first half or maybe even the first two thirds are so strong, and then it kind of it kind of dips towards the end, you know. Like I I'm still with it, like I still like it, but I don't know. Maybe it's not as funny. Maybe there's not as much. I know it just it just always kind of seems to lose me towards the end. I'm excited for all the things that happen at the beginning and then it crosses a point where I really could shut it off at that point and still feel satisfied. Yeah, I mean that was a lull in the movie, I think. 
I enjoy watching it, and my girls just rock around for the next week or two, just telling me, "You sit on the throne of lies." <laughs> like, excuse me? They're like nothing, and they run off. It's like, <laughs> I believe that's. Uh, I w- I was thinking about that movie because uh, um, I was watching something with Will Ferrell and. And they were asking him, like, how does it feel to be, like, this Christmas icon? And the only thing I thought of was, like, but it also is, like, the movie that made him, like, hate John Favreau or, like, say he'll never work with John Favreau again or something, I think. That's yeah. why there'll never be a sequel. Yeah. Never say never, though. Interesting. Listen, yeah. you you don't need to tarnish the first one. It's good. Just yeah. We don't need well a, enough we, alone. We don't yeah. need Elf again. Yeah. So now, who's going next? For sure. Uh, who's that? Me? Or you? Yeah, go. Me? Um, this is this is an easy question. Um, no one's ever gonna guess that this is my pick, but it is my absolute favorite. I get Scrooged. No, I get Arthur giddy. Christmas. No, I get giddy as a schoolgirl or giddy as a whatever. I don't know what gets giddy now. I don't know. It's cool, girls. All right, there we go. Uh, when this movie is on, uh, and that is Jingle All the Way. Oh, Turbo Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so long, Turtle Man. Yeah, no, I mean, Sinbad <laughs> is fantastic, and Arnold, no, Arnold just fits that role of big, dumb, meathead dad. And it's just, it's, it's, it's just a very believable character for him so i think that was like his coup d'etat moment and he 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 surpassed everything he could ever do in his life with jingle all the way and that is the best movie that uh, you'll ever watch at christmas time do you watch that every year i try to but kristen hates it so <laughs> I'm, I'm usually at i'm usually at once every three years it's 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 not i I definitely like it. I don't hate it, but it's one I have not seen in a very long time. I have not seen, especially like watching it from start to finish. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. From from beginning to end. I don't like the kid who plays his son. Well, that kid was like in all the movies. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was the Christmas Christmas kid. He was in Santa Claus as well. Come on, bro. You don't like Santa Claus? I just I'm I'm in the middle of watching one and two. I don't think he was a Santa Claus kid, because that kid isn't that kid Jake Lloyd. No. Sure. Oh, it is. Never mind. That's Anakin yeah. Skywalker. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure. Like he's is. Ugh, he's rough in that movie, bro. Yeah, he is. Like he Arnold and everything else you said, great. Sinbad, Phil Harvey, great. But he that kid he, comes on. I don't want him to get the toy. But he whines like that's what he does. But at the end, he's appreciative of everything this day. Oh, that's young, that's young Anakin. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, but all you have to say is Sinbad. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> he's fantastic. Sinbad and Arnold. Uh, that's a, that's definitely a great comedic combination. <laughs> Very good. I got to revisit that, but yeah, that was definitely. I did not expect <laughs> to all You're full of surprises, man. We could have guessed for the rest of the year and not got that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Kevin will definitely know what my answer is, but he won't know what my honorable mention is. Um, but um, for me, um, so many good ones to choose I, I from. Know, I know as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> okay, say it. It's love actually. No. No. Really? That's that's the honorable mention. Oh, okay. That's the honorable mention. So you All were right, close. So I, I got the part um, that Kevin wouldn't have got. <laughs> um yeah, th- so no, for me it's a, a Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Rizzo's yeah. a rat. And I will say it it's a perfect movie. It's a perfect movie. You know, that uh, is one we watch every year. Dude, it's so good. The music is so good. Um I do it? find myself giggling a lot. 
Yeah. What's his? Oh, I mean, that's the Muppets, bro. I mean, it's it's the Muppets. It's <laughs> really good. And then what's uh what's this guy? What's uh why am I blanking on his name? Uh the guy that plays Scrooge, the British guy. Michael oh, Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine, yes. Michael Caine. Has uh, an age of the year. Yeah, man. I mean he was a great Scrooge. Great Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, he was and I mean when you got a little baby turtle as tiny Tim <laughs> it's, wait, it's wait. was it the frog? Oh, frog, the frog. frog, frog, Kermit, Kermit the Frog, Frog, yeah, little baby. Sorry, I have Ninja Turtles on the brain. There's Ninja, Ninja Turtles movie coming out in 2023. Really? Yeah, but uh, but yeah, Muppets Christmas feel good, man. It's feel good. The music is is bopping, and uh, and I love it. Yeah. Wow, what I never guessed. Kevin, but yeah, you, you knew that. Uh, yeah, for the record, I would have guessed Love Actually because I would have been like, it's either Love Actually or Up Christmas Carol. Uh, okay. Yeah, but you needing my toes. But you, you know, I I actually like I always forget that Love Actually is a Christmas movie, and then uh, and then they had that twenty twentieth anniversary thing, and I was like, oh, of course. So yeah, <laughs> has to be has to be up there. It's too good. Fair enough. It's too good. Well, this was enjoyable. Yeah, for sure. It's good to be I back. Have, I do have a question for you boys, though. Oh. Real quick, is there any movie that you've been watching? And I know I thought about this earlier. When, like when I texted you about it, Juan. Is there any movie that's been on your mind that you have watched repeatedly recently? Or is it just me? Because I have two movies that I told Juan about. Like you, recently, yeah. I've been really into Old Brother Where Art Thou and the Peanuts movie. <laughs> you clearly really? have a lot more time on your hands than we do. Well, yeah, because <laughs> like when I'm reimaging computers, I just have one of those two movies playing in the background. I'm like, oh, this movie's so good. Interesting. No, I mean, I've, I've, I think I've had the the Batman on repeat the most. Yeah, no, I have not been watching any movies, mostly because um, I've been working my way through The Sopranos, yeah. so um, that that's taken up a lot of my time uh, that I have to watch stuff, but I did catch, I told you, Kevin, I did catch some of Casablanca the other day, um, that was really good, but again, I've, um, um, just because I've, oh, because Quentin Tarantino did that podcast, right? So whenever I hear that guy talk, I just it just sends me on a kick, and then I just start consuming more and more of of his interviews, and just so um, I've been wanting to like go back and like just watch some of his early movies, like uh, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and Jackie Brown, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, so I might I might watch those eventually here. Maybe after I finish the Sopranos, I'll get around to watching more movies. But but yeah, those are those are the ones that have been kicking around my head the most. Nice. But now that we will be commencing season two shortly, I'm looking forward to what getting back to watching movies i honestly haven't been watching that many since we paused uh the yeah. podcast so it'll be yeah. nice to get back to that i'm all for it baby all right any parting words any parting words of wisdom mark um no i gave it at the beginning i'm good leave them wanting more there's some wisdom for you <laughs> so much <laughs> it Stanza. Listen, man, if anything, anyone listening, go watch uh, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Great oh. movie. Fun movie. <laughs> I give it a, I give it a two, two little Jerry's. Go watch it. Some people don't agree with me, but it was a fun movie. There you go. That's my parting words. Like a dash the bullet. Podcast <laughs> that'll never be. The one that got away. The lost episode. <laughs> yeah. Love you. All right. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Thank you.